Hello everyone, today I will show you some clever developer settings that many people know about, but that doesn't mean everyone knows them, so I will show them now. For those of you who are watching for the first time and haven't made these settings on your phone to speed it up, we won't use any programs, everything can be done through standard settings. If you're wondering why you should do all this, there can be many answers. For example, if you like playing games and they run poorly on your phone, the phone lags and the game process slows down. And of course, you want to have a good playable experience while gaming, right? Or maybe you've noticed that your phone has started to work slowly, taking longer to launch applications. The interface is no longer smooth, but rather jerky, or the phone even starts to shut down. In short, the simplest way to add a little more power to your phone for data processing is to use our standard settings. Let's go. Next, search on your phone or in the phone information, where you will find all the information. Look for the firmware version. If it's a different phone you have, it will also have it. Click on the firmware version and after doing this about seven times, it will congratulate you. You have become a developer. Then go back, go to settings again, and look for advanced settings. It should be at the bottom. Scroll down until you see a line called for developers. Click on it. There is no search here, so scroll carefully and look for buffer log. Click on it. By default it will be set to some average value or the smallest value, no matter what value is here. Set it to the maximum, for example, I have 8 megabytes already set, then check the log level. Mine is set to verbose, yours should be the same. Then, scroll down and find system trace, click on it. Here, by default, this function of recording application actions is often enabled. Be sure to disable it. And in very rare cases, actions can be recorded on the phone. Definitely disable this function. It slows down the phone by about 50%. Then go to Categories and check this checkbox called Power Management. It may be disabled, so activate it and press OK. Next, there is a section called Buffer Size. By default, it is set to the minimum for each processor. Activate it and set it to the maximum. Go back from these settings, scroll down further and go to Window Animation. Here you will need to set Window Animation Scale to 0.5 and Transition Animation Scale to 0.5 as well. Or if you want maximum performance, disable them completely. Set them to no for both. After doing this, simply exit and restart your phone. Then check it while playing games, using apps, or simply using your smartphone for work. In any case, your phone will be faster and it will be much easier to watch movies, play games, or just communicate. 